All right, so yesterday I gave you guys a brief overview of the SEC lawsuit against Binance in their violation of the securities laws. Uh, Binance is a centralized exchange that has a branch based in the U.S. that the SEC is targeting because that's in their jurisdiction. But Binance International is also tied to this because now there's allegations that they had co-mingled funds. Also, that uh, the people in charge of Binance U.S. were really just puppets and that CZ was the one controlling both branches and there wasn't really much separation at all between those two. Today, we're talking about Binance Smart Chain the blockchain that is launched by Binance. Um, a number of the nodes that are validators for that network that control that network are either directly or, or indirectly owned or operated by Binance. So there's been, uh, CZ has made several references, you know, a year ago, year and a half ago, six months ago, saying in the future, he thinks that Binance will be a completely decentralized exchanges, that there won't be centralized exchanges anymore. And I totally agree with you. And in fact, I hope that that's the future for crypto because that's how it will be robust against all sorts of entities that are trying to manipulate and infiltrate the cryptocurrency space. But here's the thing, is that at the current status of BSC right now, the Binance Smart Chain, ha as it is organized right now, it's not going to survive. It's not going to be robust against agencies like the SEC or the Department of Justice in the future. It is very centralized, controlled blockchain. That means if, if there's any outcome of this court case that could lead to an extension of punishment or repercussions on the Binance smart chain, they could order Binance to stop all of their nodes from functioning on the Binance smart chain. And they can do that because they know who owns them and it's only one entity that controls them. And it can it's a centralized bottleneck that is not robust. So if all they have to do is manipulate or take down the majority of the validators, which most of them, if not all of them, are directly or indirectly controlled by Binance, then Binance Smart Chain itself isn't very robust either. And this might be a doomsday scenario for Binance, but it's something that everyone who uses Binance wallets uh, or uses their bridges or uses their DEXs or uses their DeFi platforms, um, you need to watch out. This isn't just a centralized exchange. It's also a blockchain that could very easily be pulled into this as well. Not to mention BNB coin. Uh, Toby and I actually alleviated ourselves of our exposure to that coin back in, was it December, January? I think it was December when uh, a lot of the FUD against finance were starting to come out shortly after the FTX collapse, right after Sam Bankman-Fried was arrested. Uh, there was a lot of uncertainty with Binance. And so we're still pretty okay with that decision. But for anyone who is holding BNB, this is not financial advice. This is just a warning to uh, keep an eye on that investment and try to make your own decision based on what you find in your own research. Just a really quick update for you guys and uh, some other insights on what could happen if this does kind of bleed out from uh, the SEC case against Binance.us and Binance International. If you guys enjoy these updates, I appreciate it. If you hit the like button and hit subscribe, I'll see you tomorrow.